hey guys my name is Arsalan welcome back to my channel and today we are going to solve a new lead code question that is divisor game the question says Alice and Bob take turns playing a game with Alice starting first initially there is a number n on the chalkboard on each player's turn that player makes a move consisting of choosing any x with 0 is less than x and x is less than n and n factorial means n mod x is equal to 0 replacing the number n on the chalkboard with n minus x also if a player cannot make a move they lose the game all right return true if and only Alice wins the game assuming both play optimally so what we are gonna do here is we have to return true only only and if if Alice wins the game we have to return true as we have to return false so how is she gonna win the game I will tell you the logic behind it see first of all if n is equals to 2 let's see what how Alice will win so I will say that Alice <coughs> if let me write it here that if n is equals to 2 then Alice will, Alice will first choose 1 so automatically she will win alright if n is equals to means 4 then again Alice will win because it will be 1 and 3 alright if n is equals to 5 then Alice will lose how how is she gonna lose I will tell you how is she gonna lose because uh, I will say that uh, <coughs> Alice will choose Alice will choose what uh, Alice will choose 1 3 and 5 see so if she chooses an odd value she will lose she will lose if she chooses uh, an odd value else she will win so there are multiple ways of choosing uh, of solving this question uh, numbering them I can say that return and mod 2 is equals to 0 that will give me an answer <coughs> or I can say that return return what return me and and mod 2 is not equal to 0 then also it will give me an answer <coughs> I am saying that sorry it is not equal to 0 no, uh, I will say that is not equal to 0 instead of this I can say that if n mod 2 is sorry is not equal to 0 means if it's an odd value return false all right return return true otherwise I can also solve this like this also it will run see it's running successfully so what I am gonna I am just doing here is I'm just checking if n is equals to odd or even if it's even then I will say it's true if it's odd then I will say it's false so uh, if it's odd then it's false if it's even then it's true so that's all we have to apply the logic here so guys I hope I hope that you understood this question and guys if you do so please subscribe to the channel hit the like button press the bell icon button and bookmark the playlist so that you can get the updates from the channel thank you guys for watching this video and and see you next time.